what you do. It's who you are. Shut up. Go ahead. I said shut up! Give in. No! No more! Ethan, wake up. It's okay, you were having a nightmare. Damn! My head is killing me. You're exhausted. We both are. Like I was saying, SKX is out of the picture. Dorland and the Oro are our main concern. This may end up being a wild goose chase, but if we're right, the magic man can help us. The sleight of hand, the bizarre and unexplainable. Welcomes you. Welcomes you. Please, have your tickets ready. We aim to astound and amaze, so let's get started. A wonderful treat awaits. Expect the unexpected. Regarding the Oro. I've searched for information regarding the Oro and came up with very little. What's odd is that there's no mention of the organization in any government database. However, I managed to locate a few fan sites on the internet. From what I can gather, the name Oro is short for Oro Invictus, which means invincible voice. It appears they've been around for more than 3,000 years. Pretty remarkable, if true. But we must consider the source. You see anything about the Oro's purpose? Their objective? No specifics. But I get the impression that the Oro's primary goal is to manipulate. Possibly to change the natural course of human evolution. However, the information is too sketchy to establish anything concrete. Oh! <laughs>
patched up SCU agent with a chip on his shoulder. Our reason for reporting him? He is now SCU's number one most wanted. If you see him, report it immediately to the authorities. Help us recapture our city from the brink of destruction upon which it teeters. This is City News. Are you suggesting this organization is responsible for all that's wrong in the city? Maybe not all. It's probably just the rambles of a man who's psychotic himself. But something about it rings true, though. Imagine if all of man's atrocities, war, murder, acts of cruelty, the very origins of crime itself can be explained and linked to this group. I'll admit it's pretty far-fetched, but a tantalizing theory nonetheless. Does he describe how Sonic Generation works? He does. It's a little sci-fi, but here's what he wrote. Their ability to create sonic tones is due, in part, to an enlarged hollow sternum and a higher than normal bone density. Unique vocal cords can create, when trained, complex sounds that reverberate through the sternum and chest cavity like a finely tuned instrument. Now get this. Various metal apparatuses surgically implanted into the bone and skin can amplify the effect. Wow, pretty interesting stuff. Our next performance is a real crowd pleaser. Let's come by some horrible means. Believe the unbelievable. 